That was a journey. <laughs> hey beans, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, I had to put a towel um, by my hair and put my hair behind it so, you know, it's, it's drying. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I just washed my locks. And if you know locks, you know, they're a little thick, so the water still, is still there. But it's not like dripping, it's just like damp, and I, I don't want it on my back to wet my clothes up or my chair. Anyway, um, I was uh, about to go boot up my Sims, and I realized, oh, it's been a while since I played. A while being like, maybe what, a week or two. And um, I haven't updated my mods yet, so I go to start using my favorite mod manager for the sims 4 and i thought to myself i wrote this down before on my little youtube content planning sheet thingies yes i have those very useful and that's how i keep track of my videos um i could show you, I could show you. right next to my to do let's see keep track of like what i'm supposed to do how long it is the audience um yeah anyway organization <laughs> well listen um i realized oh my gosh i never showed you guys the sims 4 content manager and this has saved me. If you play The Sims 4, hours and hours of categorizing, sorting, finding, downloading content, putting them into files, and then like making subfolders for those files. Because if you don't know, one of the hardest things in Sims life can be when your custom content is not properly categorized. It's like going into your closet, but you have a messy closet. And then if one thing's broken, it's hard to locate it. It's hard to like disable it. Every time there's a new update, you have to update all the, listen, it's a lot but not sponsored the sims 4 mod manager that i use is so good that i have to share it with you guys because i know this is an issue for a lot of us sims gamers hear me out i'm gonna save your life what we have here is the sims 4 mod manager and you want to make sure you get the correct one um so this one's by game time dev you can just Google it. I'll put the link in the description. It is Sims 4 Mod Manager by Game Time Dev. Now, this is my front page here, okay? Um, I have several categories. As you can see, they're categorized and the folders look like that. If you were to open like the folder, the um, the Sims 4 Mods folder, it'll be like this. So I have Andrew Post Player. I have the Create a Sims Presets, Create a Sims Sliders, Clothes, eye colors, hair, jewelry, lot traits, makeup and accessories. I have the MC Command Center for January 2025. Um, probably needs to update, but I'll get to that. I have mod mods other half. Don't ask me why there's 12,000 in that folder. Um, <laughs> I have my custom mods. Um, I do make some clothing and things like that. Other mods, poses, recipes, Sims for new CCs, because I do always find CCs that I want. And um, this this also makes it really easy to do that. Um, I have new trials. Um, so what I'll do is like when I add them and they're bulk, I usually like put them in a new folder that says like new trials in case there's like issues with some of them. So I can easily locate the ones that I just added if there's like glitches in the game or they look strange and create a Sims and I can just disable them. Now, we're gonna get to the nitty gritty of what this software has to offer. If you look, I love this feature. For instance, we're gonna go on makeup and accessories, y'all. Thank you, game time dev. Um, <laughs> you can see the thumbnails of these things. So say you're in the game, you're like, I don't particularly like this makeup. What you do, you just go click it, deactivate. There's photos of it. Like you can't really fail here. So it shows me all the makeups that I have page by page. I have a lot. There's like, you see the accessories, there's like this hair bow. Say I was like, this hair bow is glitching in the game when I try to click it, put it on, just go deactivate it. So I like the fact that they show you the thumbnails. That's a real helper. Even with the jewelries, if you see the jewelries here, like you can hardly go wrong. If there was an issue with the jewelry, one item selected, you just like go ahead and disable it. Now I'll show you guys, you can change the way it looks. So you can select all files. You can also um, deactivate all files at the same time. Probably don't want to do <laughs> that at all. My other half of mods. This is where the sorting comes into to play, right? So if you can see here, this is obviously what it says ponytails, right? 
so this one also says ponytails if you notice i'm holding down control and i'm just selecting okay look these are these are hairs uh what's this one this is rings for your hair okay so i have hair 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 -y, hair -y. i did not know it shows you like a 3d view if you hold down one of them what the hell so we're gonna go ahead hold down control it says two items selected on the top right so let's find some more of those hairs let's go through and i'll show you guys this really cool sorting tool that i was messing around with earlier where you can just kind of like put in like a tag and it'll find things of that tag okay so it says three items selected and what i do i click which one was it move selected files move selected files to what the hair folder to here i don't know why i said it was empty but there's 4416 hairs in there as you can see now to make it really easy you see the filter on the right hand side right we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say type um create a sim species human large dog cat small dog fox horse those are your options i'm gonna say human outfit category oh wow look at that um we're gonna go ahead and do ages wow you can sort it by age too anyway we're gonna put hair oh look everything where hair comes in now if you notice this is where the sorting really helps under clothing it's telling me you have 15 hairs do i i sure do look at that and there's hair accessories so what you do select them the accessories i'll move to so 15 items selected i'll go ahead and i'll just move them to the hair folder you guys how can you fail sims 4 new cc's if you notice like i said i go on those um basically downloading frenzies <laughs> have 510 new hairs yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um we're gonna select all okay we're gonna select all files just click that button right there let's move them to the hairs category okay easy peasy isn't that crazy so then if you go so there's an issue in the game there's a hair that's glitching a little bit it's not as cute as you thought it would be just go to the hairs folder ultimately deactivate it I know I love it here. Um, but I will show you guys another feature aside from the really cool sorting. Okay. We have <coughs> updates. Now, you play The Sims 4, you already know updates are a hassle. Okay. <coughs> Let me explain. Every time the game tends to update, there are mods that become broken, outdated, um, and the mods will have updates for them. Do you want to go through and try to figure out every single one? Of course not. Of course not. We'd be right so what it is when i open the mod manager if you notice this bottom here this icon here has been on the bottom and i left it here for you guys it says mods slash cc updates updates are available for 433 mods slash cc did you just identify like every mod in cc that needs to update and then tell me you sure did view updates <laughs> look at that all the custom content that has updates just click update we not just save so much time look at that look at that insane so i click update all it goes ahead and it updates all the mods that have updates out for them <sighs> so anyway it's updating them right now it's gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna show you guys a few more cool features so we have the categories if you notice you can tag your items i will show you guys what i mean so for example there's automatic tagging and then there's add a new category. So say for instance, I don't know, I want a category called infant because they just came out with this really cool infant overhaul mod, right? We're gonna go ahead and add a new tag, infant, baby, babies. You might wanna take out baby because some clothes might have the name like baby girl or something and get it like confused, thinkity. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say, um, we're on automatic tagging only for this category. Let's try it, checking file names. It is now sorting through every single piece of custom content that we have to find anything with that tag. 
Oh, an important note on the updates, the auto updates thing. If you notice, it says Curse Forge because that's where it's kind of linked to where it gets the automatic updates from. It's Curse Forge. So if you do use Curse Forge for a lot of your Sims 4 content, like I do, it's really useful for that. So that's where it's getting the auto updates and running them. If you go here and you type in infant, if you notice what it has done is it took the clothing that was like it said infants on it apparently from like descriptions that the creators put their tags whatever it is i don't know how it specifically does what it does but it found all the infants clothing and automatically tagged it you see the tags on there say clothes and infants yeah it gave it the infants tag so i don't have to sort through and say okay well i just downloaded a thousand items and there's like 26 infant outfits in here but i have to go through and look for them and tag them myself it auto does it Let me show you guys Curse Forge while we're at it because you can never have too much content, you know what I'm saying? So here on Curse Forge, which is built in to the app, you go click browse and let's type in infant. I'll show you guys. Your new obsession is gonna probably be this mod manager if you play The Sims 4. Now, the ones that I already have downloaded have a check mark on them. The ones that I don't have downloaded, if you notice like Ruby Pacifier, I think it's cute. Just it's so evil you just click the little arrow and it says in queue best part is you guys i don't think i mentioned this this is free download it <laughs> what, what are you wasting time for right so so um really cool tools we're gonna just go through the tools real quick duplicate files <sighs> You guys i've used this so many times so remember those frenzies where we download a lot of things a lot of times my things are also from the sims for uh the sims resource so a lot of times i get files from the sims resource and the sims resource is an, another website aside from curse forge i should do a video on that as well because that's a really good resource um but anyway i'll download them and i'll put them in my folders and everything and then it'll say like duplicate files i'm like oh shoot here's how this works duplicate files you can either search for the exact same file name, the exact same file, which is like identical in the content, or D1 file names. I don't really use the, the third option, but if you notice, let me show you how it works. It'll say, okay, um, two duplicate files were found. On the left-hand side, you have the photo. So you see, apparently I have two of the Secret Society Jasper pants, and I have two of the Alistar necklace from Secret Society. So I must have sometime around the same time downloaded them, right? So what you do? You click delete all and it will delete the ones that are red okay very important it's not deleting all the files it'll only keep one copy of each boom no more duplicates were found refresh just to make sure it went through all your files no other duplicates were found this can really save you time when it comes to having a lot of unnecessary files or coming across some possible issues same file name go ahead let's see okay so we have these two have the exact same file name and if you notice the reason why this might have happened is they're in two different folders but they do have the exact same name. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to select these ones and delete selected, which is the ones in red. Ba boom. Just like that, we're done. Click refresh. There is no more in my entire mods of duplicates. Tools are amazing. Advanced tools. Um, it's for people who know mods and CCs well. So this is where a lot of those glitch things get fixed. ID conflicts. There are conflicts between multiple package files and this can cause issues within your gameplay you can search for them here i have 1000 id conflicts what does that mean they said not every conflict is problematic i will note that you don't have to go through here and like do an id scrub it's just for instance if you're having issues with a specific item you can search for it here they'll go mess it around with the mesh and ge geometry polygon count okay so some of these items might contain it says either a large or small number of polygons um so this one's telling me wow if you notice um there's a dress here with like six thousand sixty three thousand vertexes okay so anyway it says in general you can say the more polygons or use the more accurate or detailed the model is however processing power is needed so say you're going through issues with your game you can come down here and you can pretty much deactivate anything that has really high polygons because ultimately it does help your game run a little smoother my computer is kind of a beast so it can handle that okay so anyway you can also disable packs and kits from here so what else will do is i linked it to my game it goes through all the expansion packs the game packs the stuff packs the build kits that you have and other kits that i might have installed and i can ultimately just click 
and deactivate them from here. Am I gonna do that? No, but if you notice, I click them, disable packs, and it tells you. Yeah, next one is fun tools. Okay, let's see what you got here. <gasps> CC swiper, I have used this before. Oh my God, yes. Okay, so let me explain. The CC swiper is so cute, and let me tell you why. What you have here is basically Tinder for custom content. <laughs> if you scroll all the way down on the overview main folders, you'll see that the things we downloaded are in fact right here. So we have our accessory vintage sleeves that right swiped on and we got our pride and stuff and then we got our little lingeries here. So we're in business. Yeah, so you can go ahead and swipe to your heart's content. Yes, so this is the beautiful Sims 4 mod manager. I hope it helped you in some way. I hope you're able to use it and enjoy it. The start game, which is beta. I don't even know if it'll work, but let's click it. It sure as hell started my Sims 4. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, the Sims 4 mod manager by Game Time Dev. Again, not sponsored. I just really think it's useful. I think it'll save you a lot of time as a Sims 4 player with a lot of custom content, mods, things like that. Please enjoy it. And thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go and play. Oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out a little bit, go ahead and drop me a subscribe. Um, like, comment, interacting in general really helps. Um, so thank you. And yeah.